Hello everybody, welcome back to Auto Anorak. Today, I'm going to be explaining why buying a 1982 Rolls-Royce Silver Spur limo might just be the best financial decision you could ever make. Yeah, this 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 is going to be an interesting episode. <laughs> Upon stepping into a 1982 Rolls Royce, you will realize three things. Number one, it stinks, after years of its once plush carpeting being drenched by water via the leaky roof. Number two, it stinks, of oil that has been leaking from its underbody amongst a million other miscellaneous liquids. And thirdly, it will assault your nose so badly that you will want to run away from its cigarette-stained interior and use a Toyota Prius to escape from its vicinity. Of course, some people are into that thing, the type that tinker on their old Triumph motorcycles and sheds during the winter. However, that doesn't exactly sound like the best fit for an American that has grown accustomed to driving around in Lamborghinis and Bugattis. I'm sure by now you've realized why Stradman wants to sell his stretched Rolls Royce Silver Spur limo. At this stage, it has become an eyesore that has increased the visual pollution of his zip code in Utah exponentially. Honestly, this thing looks like two washing machines have been strapped on either side of six other large 1980s boxy style washing machines. Nothing could be more vulgar, useless, or unreliable at this price point. It really has it all. Starlight headliner, automatic opening doors, and a working fridge for champagne are all things that this car doesn't have. It's a vehicle from the glory days of Rolls Royce, when the company wasn't restricted by the constraints of the Germans that wanted to do preposterous things such as making cars that carried out the process of movement. Now, I know what you're thinking. When can I pick one of these bad boys up and how badly am I going to have to remortgage my house? That's the beauty of it. You can get into detrimental financial trouble as a result of maintenance expenses, devalue every house in your neighborhood, and get the same miles per gallon as a semi truck for less than $20,000. But I'm not even being sarcastic. This car is perfect for one job, one specific job, the job of any aspiring automotive YouTuber. Scratch that, actually, any YouTuber. For example, Hoovy's Garage, 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 I don't know, I'm, she always says Garage, but I'll just say, Hoovy's Garage made his fortune buying cars that he sold for crippling losses. That is an utterly genius business plan if you ask me. It really is. Well done, Hoovy. Even more so, we should look to other content creators outside of the normal supercar world, such as Arak. Oh, hey. You may recognize him from some Vin Wiki videos. He bought Logan Paul's painfully uncomfortable Mercedes design sofas that used to cost $90,000 for only $17,000. It was a large gamble, but it paid off. He obviously gained a large boost in following after being featured in Logan's video and proceeded to create the most manic content about the couch in his following videos you could ever imagine. Applying the same concept to Stradman's limo, technically burlackers, I know, you guys will be on to me in the comments, don't worry. But yeah, buying it is an opportunity to also get millions of views. Firstly, you can definitely bargain Stradman for a shout out. He wants rid of that thing, okay? If you watch his videos, he's always on about selling it. That's something that businesses would literally pay thousands for and they wouldn't even get a Rolls Royce out of it. Then, you could create the most unique car video series on YouTube, jump the car off something, put a swimming pool in the back of it, take it to a drift event, slam the car to the ground, give it away to a stranger, or of course, blow it up. These are all monster ideas that could propel someone's YouTube channel into another hemisphere. Of course, if we got 50,000 subscribers on our channel, I could probably fly out to Utah to buy it. So make sure you subscribe and then we can do things like that in the future. However, I don't think that's going to happen overnight. So unfortunately, we might not get there. But subscribe because these videos are a lot of hard work and I really appreciate it. I might even do a giveaway in the future. You never know. For the meantime, if you know anyone that can actually do this, and go to Stradman and buy the Rolls Royce off him, refer them to this video so that they can see all of the once in a lifetime opportunities that are to be had with this Rolls Royce, okay? Arak gained millions of views for his couch series and is now past the 500,000 subscriber mark. This man started his channel in January with 50 subscribers. If people on the Strad channel knew that a series like Arax was coming up for the Rolls Royce, they would freak out. I'm sure you would all like to see a video series with this stupidly fantastic car and I pray that the owner is friendly with their local mechanic. I mean, to be honest, I don't think Hoovy's garage would really work if the wizard wasn't there. So yeah, make sure you're friendly with your local mechanic. Anyway, Stratman, I'll be expecting some commission when this video inevitably makes the Rolls Royce appear too irresistible to not buy. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody.
Oh, oh, oh.